Hello and welcome. This video explains how to use the built-in backup feature in ColorGate Production Server. This function allows to easily update to a new version, secure all your settings, or to change to another, more productive PC. The process is easy to use, but please be mindful of the settings, as your data is the most important part of the installation. How to create the backup To start the backup process, please start the software you want to create the backup from. Select Options, System Configuration, Backup, to open the Backup RIP Configuration dialog. Backup, Program Settings, contains information about the configuration and the currently open printers. The Printer Definitions, contain hot folder settings, printer connection settings and other related configurations. You can also save all jobs in the job archive with the include job files option. Please note that including jobs increases the size of the backup significantly. For profiles and linearizations, the entire collection of MIM combinations are being stored, including all ICC profiles and color management settings. The settings of the access control module and the cost calculation module can also be backed up. The backup raster data option is only needed if you either use FilmGate or the Film and Plate module for production server and use your own screen sets. If you are unsure if it is needed, you can just activate it, it will not cause any harm except slightly increasing the backup file size. In the comment field you can add a description of the backup, so that you can later identify from which state it was created or from a specific installation if you use more than one instance of production server. Both the destination folder and the file name can of course be customized according to your own preferences. After you click OK, a dialog box shows how big the uncompressed data is. Large amounts of data will result in a longer time needed to compress everything into a single archive. With gigabyte-sized jobs in the archives, this may take more than 10 minutes. Please make sure that there is enough space on the selected hard drive. Once the backup is complete, the software will ask if and when to remind you about the next backup. Afterwards, the backup process is complete. Applying the backup. You can import the backup into your new installation. Please start production server with administrative rights so that the required permissions are available during the import process. Select Options, System Configuration, Restore, to open the Restore RIP Configuration dialog. Now click Open and select the backup file you want to use. Various information about the backup is now displayed, for example in which version it was created and what data it contains. The check boxes allow you to restore only certain data from the backup, if this is desired. Under Restore Options, you can set whether existing data should be overwritten or kept. In addition, you can decide whether you want to use the same folders as before or choose new default paths. The archive folders, respectively the jobs contained in them, will then be stored there. Please note, if the file paths from the backup are used, folders for profiles, job archive and hot folders used by the previous version are now also used in the new installation. This can lead to conflicts if both versions are installed on the same PC, as they would use the same hot folders, job archive directory and profile directories. This can lead to conflicts and unwanted behavior. We recommend to use this option only when restoring a backup of the same installation on the same PC and not during an upgrade to a new major version. After you have clicked, OK, another confirmation request appears and, the files that are to be overwritten are displayed if duplicates are found. During a version upgrade, usually everything can be overwritten if you install to a fresh installation. After the import you will have to restart production server. Once this is done, the imported data will be available and you can continue working seamlessly, we recommend checking the hot folder settings and make sure that all MIM settings are available. 
To learn about new options and possibilities of the new version you can check the release notes, which will provide information about new functions and bug fixes. Once you are sure that you have transferred all data you need, you can uninstall older versions to save disk space. It is also possible to keep existing installations as a fallback. Additional help. You can press F1 at all times in production server. The online help will open up and display the topics related to the feature you are currently using. For example, if you are unsure how to use the system configuration, just press F1 for help on how to use the backup and restore features. For more information you can visit the Colorgate support site, the tech blog or the main website. You can access the links directly from within production server. Go to the help menu and select support to use the links directly.